Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last Friday, we also received a new Dev Channel Insider Preview build, 26120.2702, which rolled out with the update KB5048761. So just a quick overview as to what is going on in last week's Dev Channel flight. Now, the first was actually a new feature that rolled out as a hidden feature um, a couple of days ago, which I posted on, and has now made its way into official testing in this latest Dev Channel build. And it's the Windows Camera Advanced Configurations, which you can navigate to by heading to a camera under Settings, Bluetooth and Devices Cameras, and then you click the Edit button for your advanced camera options. Now, with this new feature, we get two configurations for um, the camera. And the first we can see at the top is allow multiple apps to use camera at the same time with Microsoft saying that this was developed with the hard of hearing community apparently to enable video streaming to both a sign language interpreter and the end audience at the same time. And then we get um, basic camera below that which enables basic camera functionality for improved debugging which Microsoft says is recommended as a last resort when your camera is not functioning correctly. And they say that this feature was developed in collaboration with Microsoft support agents. And then there's actually a third option that's going to be added to this that's going to be rolling out in a future build, which will let you choose different media types like resolution and frame rate with the default setting being let Windows choose for optimal experience. And I think that third option was also made available in that um, in this feature when it was still a hidden feature, but nonetheless, that's coming in a future build. Now, the next um, improvement I'm just going to mention, and apparently it's for passwordless improvements, with Microsoft saying that um, the latest build includes improvements to passwordless authentication on Windows and the ability for third-party providers to offer plugin-based authenticators for the web authentication passwordless standard in the future. So that's quite a mouthful. But basically, those are passwordless improvements that are now being tested in the dev channel. And then the next improvement also made its way into the beta channel for last week. But I'm just going to mention it quickly, where if you head to the start menu and you are using the recommended section, I don't, but if you are, um, Microsoft says they are, imp are improving the filtering for recommended websites on the start menu based on feedback from Windows insiders so that it now shows the highest quality sites based on your own browsing history. Now, first of all, although this is an improvement and I think is a step in the right direction, I personally, on a personal note, don't want to see websites um, on my recommended start menu um, in that section. I'd rather just use a web browser for that. But nonetheless, if you are using that, it's going to kind of get rid of the clutter and give you um, higher quality site-based improvements and recommendations according to Microsoft. And then over and above that, we get a couple of fixes rolling out because we are dealing with an early preview build here. And because we are in early preview, we get a good couple of known issues, most of which are for recall and click to do, which is obviously a controversial feature that Microsoft insists they are going to push out. But I'm glad that these known issues are being worked on in the insider channel and not and have not rolled out as a stable, and then now they're trying to fix known issues. So there are a couple of known issues for recall and click to do. And then the next one also made its way into the beta channel for last week, and just a quick overview. Um, I have posted a whole video on this, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen, where we've got Microsoft Edge Game Assist, which basically is a special version, according to Microsoft, of Edge that's op optimized for PC gaming and can appear on top of your game in Game Bar. But go check that video out if you would like some more info. And guys, that's just a quick overview as to more or less what was new in last week's Dev Channel build 26120.2702. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.